Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a seismic update at 10:11 a.m. on Monday, February 19th, 2018. Moments before I'm leaving the hotel here in Albuquerque, I did a quick geophysical scan. Uh, I was warned about an earthquake swarm starting two days ago, and unfortunately, giving my full attention to this conference, the most important place I needed to be the last three days. I was unable to discuss this with you last night, and I've been watching it, but there has been an uptick while I finally slept. <laughs> and you can see the number of earthquakes that have occurred here over the last few days is becoming record. Now, this is offshore. However, it does correlate with a volcanic, uh, a particular volcanic neck here. And the status of the earthquake swarm at Nafir Volcano, that's what we're talking about. This is Nafir Volcano. And... You can Google it and get some information. It's east of Grimsey Island in Tojornas Fracture Zone, the TFZ. And just recently, we've had another large earthquake there above five magnitude. Currently, the earthquake swarm is smaller today, the 18th of February, than yesterday. However, that has changed. This particular assessment that we're looking at now was written over 12 hours ago, and we're going to go right now to the real-time data. So 12 hours ago, this was written. This article right here saying that yesterday's activity is less than the swarm the day before. Now, unfortunately, what happened right after they published the article is an amazing uptick in seismic activity here. Look at the baseline in dotted here, and you can see that every major portion of earthquakes are happening above this dotted line. This is in the three to five magnitude zone. This would be indicative of an imminent eruption of an Icelandic volcano, specifically in the 5.4 range. We've just hit 5.26 hours ago, and that is a heads up. So let's. I'll be watching this as I travel north across the state uh, and into Colorado, and you should be watching it too. The USGS is showing two large quakes in this area. However, there have been thousands of quakes in the last 72 hours, including hundreds of quakes above three magnitude the most of which have occurred in the last 36 hours. So we could be looking at an imminent eruption happening 24 to 36 hours from now, and we'll be watching it. Real quick, we'll come over to the star, our star to see if we can determine if there's anything that we need to know about that may be accentuating this. And the KP is coming down, which is going to be allowing more cosmic rays to come in here. The solar wind is dropping off finally, and... We may be in this coronal hole stream, uh, which is this general dark region here, giant equatorial region of coronal hole. But the main portion of the cool part here has turned away, so that solar wind is reducing. And we did go into geomagnetic magnetic storm just about 14 hours ago at uh, G1 here, at, where KP got to 5, so we'll be watching that. Um, over here at Volcano News, they're not showing anything uh, as far as the seismic activity underneath of this volcano currently. But they don't cover everything, so these are the sources you want to be watching. I will leave you links to Iceland Geology here, which is jonfr.com, Volcano. And this gives you real-time data on what's happening in the current earthquake swarm. It actually scrolls by, so you have to refresh to get the current data and it's coming this is the freshest data right here from the seismic center this is a seismogram that moves left based on the seismicity so we have had an uptick and it is at eruption uh, levels meaning the seismicity is at the level where we would expect an imminent eruption that happens around 5.2 to 5.6 and that's what we're receiving here uh, at this Nafir volcano so heads up I'm headed Back to the ranch, we're gonna have some awesome videos coming. I actually got five hours of sleep, and let's see if we can make it up to six hours. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. There is activity in the Chornes Fracture Zone, the TFZ, uh, in Iceland, and we'll be watching it. Be safe, everybody.